o'clock and we have a lot to do during this time frame. Welcome to the Southeastern Wisconsin Virtual Youth Services Performers Showcase. This showcase is sponsored by the Southeastern Wisconsin Library Systems, uh, which includes Arrowhead Library System, Bridges Library System, Kenosha County Library System, Lakeshore's Library System, Milwaukee County Federated Library System, and Monarch Library System. My name's Abby Busson, and my pronouns are she, her, hers. I'm the children's librarian at the Muskego Public Library, and I'll be your MC for this session. All attendees will be muted, webcams are, cams are turned off, and the chat is disabled, so you can just relax, view the demonstration without any interruptions. If you have any problems or questions, please submit those in the Q&A box. You can find the Q&A box in the lower portion of the screen if you're using a computer, or if you're on a mobile device in the upper portion of your screen, um, such as a phone or a tablet, it should be up in the top corner. All sessions will be recorded and made available on YouTube for a limited time. You'll find the YouTube link in your program booklet. For your convenience in the chat box, we will post a link to the view only copy of the program booklet. Please note the viewable copy is only available during these performer showcase sessions. The recordings will only be available from November 22nd until June 1st, 2021. The link is listed in the booklet. Our three performers for this hour are Chris Bassione, Miss Jamie's Farm, and Leonardo Music. Each performer will have up to 10 minutes to provide a sample performance and then up to five minutes to answer your questions. You can submit your questions by typing them into the Q&A box that I already mentioned, and we will send them to the performer. So let's start our showcase. Our first performer is Chris Fassione. Chris brings out the laughter in everyone as he brings literature to life. He acts out children's books through his uniquely energetic, fun-filled, and participatory style. Full of humor and imagination, Chris's shows engage and entertain his viewing audience throughout. So join me in welcoming Chris Fassione. Yay! Hi, everybody. Can you see me? Can you hear me? I'm Chris Fascio. Thanks, Abby, for having me. Thank you so much. And yes, I'm so excited about this coming summer's theme, Tales and Tales, because I act out folk tales, many of which have animal characters who themselves have tales. Here's one right here, The Vinganani and the Tree Toad. I love this book. You're going to love this, too. This is a story. Chris, we're going to need you to turn on your video. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, let's start again. Uh, that I told you I'd bring you back. But you didn't. Uh, all right, let's see. Um, let's, we'll try this again. Do you have me up there? Yes. Can you hear me and see me okay? Yes. Yes. So we're here. Raise your hand if you can see me. Okay, so we're good to go. I am Chris Fascione, and I'm excited, excited about this coming summer's theme, Tales and Tales, because well, my show is all about acting out folk tales, many of which have animal characters who themselves have tales. Here's one, the Vinganani and the Tree Toad. And uh, oh, it's about the teeny tiny tree toad and the big bad bully, Vinganani. You all can help me act out the part of the Vinganani. <clears throat> I am the Vinganani, and I am hungry. Give me your stew, or I will eat you. Now, many years ago, long ago, when animals talked and lived like people, Spider. Hello there, hello there, I'm Spider. Bought a big farm, a nice farm outside of Waukesha. Beautiful farm, but too big, see, too big for me. I need some helpers on my farm. So Spider hired his good friend, Lion. <laughs> I'm a lion, if I were king of a forest. And his friend, Buck Deer. Yo, how you do? I'm Buck Deer, how's it going? To help out in the farm. He also hired his little friend, Rat. Hi, everybody, I'm Rat to do the cooking. Uh, can you guess what rat cooked? Stew or ratatouille. Every day, spider, lion, and buckter worked hard in the fields. Rats stayed at home to cook the stew. And at night, the animals would come home and eat the stew. And after dinner, they quietly lie in their beds. And the teeny tiny tree toad, who lived in the yard, ribbit, she would sing them to sleep. <gasps> It was very nice. 
Until one day, while the animals were far away working in the fields, Rat was home all by himself. After Rat had cooked the stew, while Rat was shh, 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 sweeping the floor, that's right. Rat heard something walking down the path towards the house. Oh, can you snap there at home? Go ahead, librarians. Boom, boom, boom. If you can't snap, that's okay. Just put your hands out there, smile, and don't look down. Boom, 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 Rat went to the window. Rat looked outside, and there, headed straight for him, was this giant, this big, bad bully. And he was singing, I am the Vinganani, and I am hungry. Give me your stew, or I will eat you. <gasps> and the big Ganani dragged little Rat behind the house. He took some rope. He tied Rat to a tree. He pushed dirt and mud all over him. He went inside, grabbed a cooking pot. This is fun. Drank the stew. <laughs> Wiped his mouth. No napkin. When the animals came home that night, they looked in the house, but there was no rat. They looked in the cooking pot, but there was no stew. Outside, they found their little friend tied to the tree, covered with mud. Oh, dear, said Spider, look at you, rat. You're full of mud, see? You're full of dirt. You dirty rat. Who did this to you? It was the Vinganani. Vinganani, tough guy. What to do what? Can we? Yo, I'm buck dead. Yo, I'm big. Yo, I'm strong. Tomorrow I will stay home and make the stew. And if the Vinganani comes, I will take my antlers and I'll poke them and poke them. And oh, the animals felt much better. So they untied Rat and came inside, ate more stew, laid out the tree toad. She sang them to sleep. It's a tree toad lullaby. When dawn lighted the doorway, the animals left for the field. All of the animals left, except for Buck Deer. Hey, Buck Deer stayed at home. Buck Deer cooked the stove. Buck Deer swept the floor. Buck Deer watched the bears lose to the Packers. And Buck Deer heard something walking down the path towards the house. Yeah, boom, 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 bam, bam, bam. bam. He went to the window, looked outside. He was back and singing. I am the Vinganani and I am hungry. Give me your stew or I will eat you. <gasps> Yo, Mr. Vinganani, my man, how you doing? You want to come into my house to eat my stew? Well, forget about it. You will not do it. But the Vinganani dragged Buck Deer behind the house, tied him to the tree, went inside, grabbed the cooking pot, had fun, drank the stew, <laughs> wiped his mouth. Everyone say, no napkin. And the same thing happened the next day. Lion stayed at home. And when the Vinganati came, put him up, put him up. But Lion was outside. And again, there was no stew. Yo, spider. Spider, my little friend, you're next. Not me, said Spider, I'm too small. If I stay home to make the stew, the Vinganani will eat my stew. Then he might eat me. Now the teeny tiny tree toad, bum ba bam It's a story about tree toad, tree toad to the rescue. She had been listening this whole time. Now she left her home in the tree and she came over to visit with spider, lion, buck, deer, and rat. And tree toad said, well, pardon me, boys. I couldn't help but overhear your terrible dilemma. Tomorrow I will stay home. If the Vinganani comes, I will protect our stew. You can imagine the bigger animals looking down at the little tree toad. Can you guess what they did? Yes, they laughed. <laughs> oh, oh, that's rich, tree toad. That is rich. How could you, the smallest of all, how could you challenge the big bad Vinganani? Tree Toad said, I can try. She can try, right? She can try. That's a good lesson. We can all try. 
So the next day, there she was. Tina tan a tree toad was home alone to cook the stew and sh 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 sweep the floor. And sure enough, he was back. And pardon me, Mr. Vingarnani, said the Tina tan a tree toad. Where do you think you will go? But this time, the Vingarnani said nothing. This time, that big, bad, bodacious bully simply reached out with his big, hairy paw. And he scooped up that little tree toad and he threw her way up into the sky so far when the teeny tiny tree toad fell back to earth. Wouldn't you know, she landed right on top of the Vinganani's head. Oh, and the Vinganani staggered and fell. And the tree toad quickly grabbed the rope. She tied up that big bully Vinganani and then she sat down right on top of him. She waited and the other animals came home. They couldn't believe their happy eyes. There was their little friend tree toad alive and well. And oh, tree toad said spider, this is a happy day, but tell us. How did you, Tree Toad, you're the smallest of all, how did you defeat the big bad Vinganani? Tree Toad said, I tried my best. I did not give up. And things just happened to fall my way. So there you have it. Try your best. Don't give up. And even if you're small, like Tree Toad, you can do big things. The Vinganani and the Tree Toad. Thank you so much, Chris. That was very entertaining. Well, thanks, Abby. All right, so we are at the Q&A point. Um, I'm looking at my questions. Don't have any open questions yet. So I'll just lead off with a couple um, that are particularly pertinent. Uh, would you be open to libraries collaborating with other libraries to book um, like a, a group in virtual or oh, in-person? Block format? booking. Oh, absolutely. To be cost effective. Okay, uh, I'm, yeah. coming from, I'm coming from Oak Park, Illinois. So you have a great idea right outside Chicago. I think there's a little bit of distance and time travel involved. Uh, I've always uh, thought that that's a win-win for everybody to work with your budgets, uh, to come up and uh, do a couple of shows in a day. Uh, I can easily do three different shows in a, in a day. So that's okay. cool. And then virtual pretty. performances, have you, are you, you know, comfortable doing virtual performances in lieu of having something in person? Absolutely comfortable doing the virtual shows. Uh, I've been doing a lot of libraries uh, and schools uh, since uh, March, late March. Um, so yes, I think that, uh, even though it's different, uh, the idea is to try to get the, the fun, the sense of fun and sense of uh, engagement with my audience through. Uh, so um, different from an in-person live show, but again, it would be a live uh, virtual show. Excellent. And then um, just as uh, like a spin-off of that question, are you um, willing to have, let libraries record those virtual performances and share them for like a small amount of time with their patrons? Oh, absolutely. Uh, absolutely. I think that is very important to do. So no hesitation there. That's fine. Um, that, yeah, I encourage that as a matter of fact, because Great, I do, we do have. Oh, no, sorry. Go ahead. I'm just going to say that I do absolutely understand that not everyone can join us at any, on any given day. So that's absolutely um, more than acceptable. It's preferable. Okay, great. Um, and then my other last question. We don't have any questions right now. We do have someone saying they really enjoyed the story. So thank you again for that. Um, when uh, we're making these big decisions about our virtual versus in-person programming for, for next summer, since we don't know what that's going to look like, um, how quickly do you uh, require kind of a, a decision about are you going to be live or virtual? Oh, I don't need much lead time, any lead time on that. Um, OK. Uh, if it's going to be in person, I'll need the time to drive up there. Right. <laughs> so yeah, definitely <laughs> not 10 minutes give, give before two hours, show. If you would, at least two hours minimum would be nice. <laughs> Sounds good. Oh, okay. So no other questions then? Yes, um, and I just I, I just want to thank everybody from uh, the Southeastern Wisconsin Library Youth Services. If you don't realize it, 
the acronym struck me, uh, Southeastern Wisconsin Library Youth Services would be, so well, yes. <laughs> I like that a lot. <laughs> Thanks, it works for me. Thanks, Abby, I thought you might. Thank you, Chris. We're gonna move right, on to the next performer. Right, have you have fun the rest of the showcase time and I'll say goodbye. Thanks, Chris. Take care. You too. Thanks. All right, we're gonna move right on to our second performer for this time period. Our second performer is Miss Jamie's Farm. Miss Jamie takes the audience on a musical storytelling adventure to her farm where they sing, dance, laugh, and learn together. Please join me guys in welcoming Miss Jamie. Howdy, my friends. Good to see all of you. What's behind me is my book, Come to Life. But you'll hear more about that in a minute. Here's a video to show you a little bit about how that works. What should we feed the pig? Any ideas? Corn. Corn. Oh, let's get some corn up here. Howdy. I'm children's entertainer, Miss Jamie from the farm. And my musical storytelling programs are bringing people together like never before with a little bit of technology and a whole lot of fun. Now kids and families from around the world can come together to sing, dance, laugh, and learn in these colorful concerts for parties, schools, libraries, you name it. With multiple programs to choose from in live or pre-recorded formats and pricing that's fair and flexible, let's stir up some fun together down on Miss Jamie's farm. That's right! That's right, can you flap your wings? Bop, 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 bop. Good job, we have to gather the eggs. So my virtual funds are very fun and very technical, thanks to the help of my partner, Eric. He's the behind the scenes guy you never see. There's always two of us at any given time, even though I'm the one you see. Eric is my little secret about how I make my virtual shows so much fun. Um, he's a professional sound engineer and he knows about cameras, he knows about lights, he knows about all that stuff. So we have actually a professional broadcast quality recording studio right in our home because my other job, uh, aside from being a children's performer full-time for the past six years, is I'm a professional actress for voiceover for commercials. So um, you don't even know it, but you're hearing my voice on many commercials you're seeing right now on TV. Uh, right now I have a Starbucks running, um, Serta mattress, um, uh, Lean Cuisine, a Nintendo Switch will probably start up in, um, in Christmas time. I have, what else do I have? A constant contact email marketing on the voice of, um, Visit Denver, Jello, lots of different brands. Anyway, so my voice, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a voiceover actor when I'm not all dressed up like Miss Jamie from the farm. Um, but that's how I have the access to um, technology to be able to make my virtual shows just as fun as my live shows. Because of course the past you know six years I've been doing live in-person concerts and uh, programs for libraries and schools, but it's a different time. But since March, we've done countless of these shows and we're having a lot of fun with them. So I guess I would encourage you to, to book virtual. <laughs> <laughs> just, we don't know what's going to happen, book virtual, but I love doing the virtual shows and uh, I couldn't make it happen without Eric, my partner. So um, I wanted to kind of give you a sample of how these shows work. So let's walk to my garden together, boys and girls. Let's walk to my garden. Here we are in my garden. Let's sing some songs that you'd typically see in a Miss Jamie show. Songs about healthy eating, songs about seed cycle, songs about pollinators, songs about how to grow a plant. The song we're gonna sing right now is one you might know. It's called You Are My, you guessed it, Sunshine. Who knows that song, You Are My Sunshine? Raise your hand. Okay, good. Well, I changed it up a little bit to make it a little more farmy. Everything about my show is a little farmy. <laughs> so I made some dance moves. So you ready to learn the dance moves? All right. When we say sunshine, shine your arms up high like the sun shining in the sky. When we say soil, I want you to pat your desk. Or if you're standing up, stomp your feet. That's right, good job. When we say water or rain, that's right. I wanna see your fingers coming down just like the rain. And when we say happy, I want you to smile and say cheese. Can you say cheese? And when we say I love you, Here's what you do. Give yourself a hug. 
show yourself some love and sing this song with me. One, two, three. You are my sunshine. shows have to do with healthy eating so we are going to talk about eating your colors now when i say eat your colors i don't mean eat your crayons that's not a thing i mean eat fruits and vegetables in a wide variety of colors all the colors of the whole rainbow because that will give you the vitamins and minerals that help your body show me your muscles and your brain grow well, the vegetables and the fruits that we eat come in many colors that are really neat. And the bigger the variety, the more healthy we can be. So sing along, sing along, and think of some with me. So sing along, sing along, and think of some with me. You gotta eat your colors, eat your colors, eat your colors. You gotta eat your colors, eat your colors, eat your colors. In all of the colors of the rainbow, there are healthy foods that help your brain grow. In all of the colors of the rainbow, there are healthy foods that help your brain grow. Well, what are some fruits and vegetables in all of these colors that we know? Can you think of some that are yummy yum? Let's try it out. Here we go. Red. Good ideas. Orange. What you got? What can you think of? Yellow. Oh yeah. Good ideas. Green. Good one. Blue, this one's hard, but I bet you can think of some. That's right. Purple, good ideas. You gotta eat your colors, eat your colors, eat your colors. You gotta eat your colors, eat your colors, eat your colors. In all the colors of the rainbow, there are healthy foods that help your brain grow. In all the colors of the rainbow, there are healthy foods that help your brain grow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple fruits and veggies have good vitamins, so eat your colors. <laughs> Great job, everyone. Well done. That's a little sample of some of the fun we have down on Miss Jamie's farm, live or virtual. Okay, cool. So I have got shows about all the seasons, all four seasons. 
in springtime is really fun. I can show you some really cool B-roll footage of things you might see in the spring. Things like uh, flowers, beautiful flowers growing. Things like um, butterflies or baby birds. We have so many cool things that we have footage of that can show you how the butterflies work, what their whole seed process is, and how birds build their nest and have little babies too. And then in addition to shows about all the seasons, I also have shows for other reasons. What should we feed the pig? So Any I ideas? I show you, oops, sorry, technical difficulties, you're fired. <laughs> He's my husband, it's not easy that easy to fire him. <laughs> I also have shows for other reasons. I have shows like this, schoolhouse, colors, counting, numbers. Um, of course, this was really fun. This just wrapped up. That was fun and pre-recorded or live virtual. All the holidays, all, you know, non-denominational songs, of course. Uh, songs about going to my farm and doing chores with me. And as they're learning the chores, they get to be a good farm hand and get deemed my forever farm hands. Of course, my big book show is fun. That's available at libraries and on Amazon. This show is about seed cycle pollinators, how to make a garden, making your flowers grow. And every Saturday morning, Mariano sponsors a live stream on Facebook. You know Mariano's more as um, Metro Market or Pick and Save, up where y'all are, uh, but it's Kroger, so. But they sponsor a live stream every Saturday morning. They've been a client of mine for just as long as I've been doing this. So um, yes, I wanted to let you know that um, the prices are accessible to everyone. The program's about 30 minutes long. Um, and I'm very happy to be here today. Are you happy to be here too? Let's walk back to my farm. Let's walk back to my farm through the garden. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go back to my farm. Here we are. I think since we're all happy to be here today, and we all know it, I think we really ought to show it. So everybody, let's clap our hands. If you're happy and you know, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know, are you cutting me off? I'm not happy anymore. Just kidding. All right, time for Q and A. Yay! Time for the Jaws music. Um. <laughs> Get the hook. Oh, thank you. Get thank out of here, Miss Jamie. That's enough. Oh, thank you so much. That was absolutely the cutest thing I've seen all day. <laughs> oh, well, it's only been Chris. So sorry, Chris. No, then the morning people, I guess. <laughs> sorry, Chris. <laughs> I do have a couple of questions for you that have come in. So would you recommend your in-person shows to an audience of primarily older children? Or is it better for family shows with younger and older children combo? What would you say? Um, my show's great. Perfect for two to eight. But okay. I also always say babies like it. And a lot of that times I've been getting a lot of younger kids um, weekdays. And I also say grownups like it. But I would say once they start to get into like fourth or fifth grade, they're kind of too cool for Miss Jamie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've got a fourth and a fifth grader. So I get it. They're too yeah. cool for me. Mine too. are teetering, <laughs> like almost too cool for mom. <laughs> That's it. It hurts. I know. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. Oh, so you did say that you're, you know, you're open to virtual. You really do that. Would you I prefer be virtual? I'll just be real honest. <laughs> okay. I love virtual because I don't have to leave my home. <laughs> um, and it's so much fun. And there's things we can do with virtual that are engaging for the kids. Um, that I, I mean, I, you know, I think I'd prefer to do virtual. It, it's my new favorite thing. I, I might never go back. <laughs> <to lunch. laughs> I mean, yeah, it cuts down on the travel time and the travel costs and, you know, so I get I know. it. I know. Um, I love that. Of course, so I love life doing... and I miss it, but I would oh, say, right. yeah, I would say I would prefer to do virtual. Also, just a note, price, uh, price is easier for me to negotiate down on virtual than live. So gotcha. I can do live, but I, I really, I would love to do virtual. I can make it more affordable. And I have pre-recorded shows that you can show for two weeks that are fabulous. Oh, yeah. That's nice. A lot of libraries are like, loving that say me and like two other libraries wanted to team up and you know book you for a, a joint virtual performance are you open oh yeah to virtual yes that? yes definitely i was i thought you were gonna say like you and two libraries would show the share the pre-recorded one i'm like oh i don't think so yeah no <laughs> no you know i'm saying like what if what if me and two other libraries decide you know what we want to do like uh you know every wednesday morning we want to for a month we want to have miss jamie you know do a I would say for sign a me up okay Love cool it. So you're open to that. For I've done that for the like, Chicago Public, just so you know, for Chicago okay. Public Library, they had, they, they hired me for um, two weeks in November and two weeks in December, just like that, uh, Wednesday okay. morning. So I did different programs and, you know, I did a Halloween, a fall, um, uh, I did a 
farmyard field trip and some anyway so i have so many programs to choose from so i could definitely give a variety of fun stuff for y'all for y'all awesome i do have one other question that just came in would you be open to doing like virtual preschool dance party stuff yeah definitely i mean it's gonna be kind of farmy <laughs> if you're okay with that <laughs> very on brand like <laughs> yeah. yeah i could do more music and less talking that's definitely true <laughs> we'll see obviously i can't do less talking i almost ran over on my time <laughs> I, I get it. I am there with you, girl. <laughs> any other questions? I don't see any more coming in. So, wow, that was really, really fun and entertaining. Hey, Eric, I'm going to say thank you to Eric, too. Give a wave. Thanks, that Eric. We all show. think you're great. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much, Jamie. That was fun. All right, let's move on to our next performer, guys. Our third and final performer for this session is Leonardo Music. Rockin' and Reading with Leonardo is a high energy music program to inspire little rockers to become big readers with singing, dancing, and humor. So please join me in welcoming Leonardo Music. <laughs> Leonardo and my library program is called Rockin and Reading with Leonardo. Me! I play this orange electric guitar and I add some old school dance beats oh for a very interactive high energy concert that's good for all ages and abilities. I sing some original as well as traditional songs that always fit the summer reading theme. Or maybe you'd like a seasonal show like a monster rockin' Halloween concert, scary stuff, or a you be rockin' holiday dance party. Oh, you know what I mean. I perform all over the country and am available all year round. Now I know we may not be gathering at the library or local venue for a little while longer, so sad, but my shows are available pre-recorded virtual with colorful backgrounds, fun characters, to keep all audiences engaged. If your theme this year is Tales and Tales, I love when that happens. Oh boy, do I have some great animal songs ready. There are so many to choose from. And can't animals teach us so much? I'm excited to learn about their dances, their moves, their stories. I wish I could talk to the animals. I wonder what they would say. Hey. And if you are following the reading Colors Your World theme, then we'll sing some songs that teach us to be curious about the world, learn about people who made the world a better place, and see if we, through kindness, can help our community. I love reading about people who did great things and made the world a better place. Here is a sample of what my show looks like. I'm always adding new songs, stories, moves, and jokes to the show. And some are even funny. So let's keep the library rocking. Everybody reading. Cause it's always in season to go rocking and reading. Sometimes, why, yeah. 
Mama called the doctor and the doctor said No more monkeys jumping on the bed Jump, 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 everybody jump Jump, 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 back and front Can I read you a story I'm working on? Well, oh, I'd love to, I'd love to Maybe you can help me out It's, it's about some of my favorite stories Well, funny stories Like the one about a humorous gaff That's a funny mistake Funny stories, you know, they make the whole world laugh. Very good. Everybody laugh really loud. <laughs> like Santa Claus. <laughs> well, now, the next song, and it's my favorite, it's called Making Waves. Can you say those two words? Making Waves. Now, you may think this is a song about going to the beach, going surfing. I wish. Well, no, there's another meaning to the words making waves. And to me, that means people coming together, starting a wave of kindness and respect, and showing the whole world that if we work together, we can make the world a better place. Here's a song about doing right, taking a chance, swimming against the tide. Step it up, get something wrong Stir it up, those waters come Waves, making waves Waves, making waves Let's do it Waves, making waves Waves, making waves I know we did this a few years ago. That was an example of my pre-recorded show. Um, I do the virtual live show, you know, something like this, you know, where we're, it's a dance party. So we're having fun, we're having fun. Um, hello to everyone. If I visited you before, it's been a long time. Um, hope to see you again soon, for real. I was just thinking as we were, um, as watching this video, the memories of, you know, visiting the libraries, um, you know, getting to see new friends, make old, old friends. Um, there's always that moment before some reading starts where maybe no one's there. Do you remember that? Five minutes, no one's there. You know, we look at each other and go, what's gonna happen? Usually they're here by now. And of course, they arrive right on mass and on time and the show goes on. So I think that's the theme this year. The show goes on. You know, we put it up there, they'll arrive. So my shows, um, if it's a pre-recorded show, um, I've got it, uh, I, I give you an embedding code or a download um, through Vimeo, so it's really secure, your IT or you, you put it on your website or your platform and you have it for a week or whatever we need. Um, the live show again, Zoom, and of course, uh, the live where I show up to your library or your region for a few days, you know, we love that. Kids need that live interaction. We're waiting for that day to come. It'll come back. In the meantime, we, we create new ways to learn to read, write, um, and interact through the arts. Um, let me see what I can uh, offer any other info. Um, I can't, I don't really know. I think that sort of tells the story. Maybe we could do a quick song at the end. I always end my shows because the theme of the show is always rocking and reading, but it's based on success, getting the kids to read and find something at the library that they enjoy doing. So I, I always end the show with, are you ready for success? And they answer, yes, I am, with a big move. Are you ready for success? Yes, I am. All you gotta do is do your best. It's all you are ready for success. 
gonna take the right ingredients like reading, writing, math, science, art, music, and history. Now you know the recipe. Are you ready for success? Yes, I am. Are you ready for success? Yes, I am. All you gotta do is do your best. Then you'll be ready for success. Are you ready for success? Yes, I am. finish, everyone. <laughs> Big show ending. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, you get the picture, everyone. Um, you know, we can just go right into QA. Um, it's a dance party, good for all ages. Um, I do a lot of early education and I go up to fifth, sixth grade. So if it's everyone, that's great because little, little siblings like to learn from the big siblings. So my show can always adapt to who is there or be primarily for that audience. And of course, seasonal shows always available. So anyway. Leo, <laughs> um, I have a couple questions for you. Um, is it the, someone, Crystal's asking, is it the same price for virtual versus in person? Um, and then follow up, if doing virtual, can we post it on Facebook or our website for a period of time specified by you? Yes, yes, you can definitely post it, you know, and for what, you know, usually people have done like the week or so, because mm -hmm. it kind of works with the, you know, or whatever really what you need. And I do offer discounts for virtual, absolutely. That's gotcha, because you know, no it. travel fees, right? So Yeah, absolutely. And you know, it's just the point is to get it out there and make this happen, really, right? So yeah, I, I've definitely been discounting quite a bit. So All anyway. right, great. So, and then like, it's kind of a jumping off on those virtual questions. Are you open to libraries collaborating with other libraries to kind of book a, a virtual or in-person pro performance from you? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, again, this is the, we're making it up as we go time and, you know, learning to, to that, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Great. And we already answered the question of mother and corn and stuff. Oh, my other question is, how fast of a turnaround time do you need if libraries are booking you in per person and then deciding, oh, we need to go virtual? Uh, well, if you can't do it, you can't do it. That's fine. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's, it's not up to us. It's, you know, the authorities. So, no, we'll adapt. You know, if you need okay. to, like, you know, you know we, we all went through this. <laughs> you know, <laughs> no problem. You know. Oh, right. Um, so to another us. question. Sue is asking, do your pre-recorded programs include any aspect that make it personalized for a given library or is it the same for every library? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. You know, it kind of depends. But yeah, if you if you're doing this, I, I can definitely bring in some elements of, you know, like, hello. Yeah, like, oh, hey, Muskego, whatever. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Absolutely. <laughs> and then something with the librarian, we can also do it. And maybe they've got, you know, a, a theme where there's, you know, the, the, the secret word or, you know, whatever you're, you're you know, you gotcha. want. Yeah, we can, I have, you know, I have technology. <laughs> Perfect. We can rebuild them. We can make them stronger. <laughs> oh, any other questions? Anybody? No questions. That was really fun and entertaining. So fun. This is actually the best time I've had today. Don't tell anyone else I said that. There we go. Well, we rep Chicago represented here. So <laughs> the Chicago hour. I'm sorry. I'm a Packer fan. This is sorry, not going to work. <laughs> Cut the video. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, thank you, guys. This is wonderful. This is wonderful. Thank you. Thank you so much, right, Leo. Then. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> a great rest of your day. Oh, thank you so much to all three of the performers, and thanks to all the youth services librarians who attended this session and other sessions today and yesterday. Holy cow! It's been a a week already. We'll now take a short break as we prepare for the next session. So take some time to get up, stretch your legs grab a coffee, answer emails, you know, do whatever you have to do, turn on your hype song and dance around a little bit. Then come on back. The next session is going to be starting at one o'clock. We'll have three new performers then. Um, just a reminder, if you do close this Zoom, uh, you can always just hop right back on using the link that was sent to you when you registered. So thanks guys. We'll see you later. <laughs>